Hi, this is PJ Mac, and this is another PJ made, rated. Let's just say PJ rated. And I'm going to read a page from Moby Dick right over here. Now, the uh, book about the whale. Sorry if this looks a little old because it's an old book. Let's see if I can. Okay. Chap Loomings. Call me Ishmael. Some years ago. Never mind. How long, precisely, having little or no memory, money, no money, in my purse, and nothing particular to interest me on shore, I thought I would sail about a little and see the watery part of the world. It is a way I have of driving off the spleen and regulating the circulation whenever I find myself growing grim about the mouth whenever it is a damp drizzly november in my soul whenever i find myself involuntarily pausing before coffin warehouses and bringing up the rear of every funeral i meet and especially whenever my hypos hippos no, probably hypos Get such an upper hand of me that it requires a strong moral principle to prevent me from deliberating, stepping into the street, and methodically knocking people's hats off. Then I account high time to get to sea as soon as I can. This is my substitute for pistol and ball, with a philosophical flourish cato throws himself upon his sword, I quietly take to the ship. There is nothing surprising in this. If they but he knew it, almost all men in their degree, some time or other, cherish very nearly the same feelings towards the ocean with me. Now, when I say that I am in the habit of going to sea, whenever I begin to grow hazy, the, uh, about the eyes and begin to be over conscious of my lungs I do not mean to have it infer inferred that I ever go to sea as a passenger for to go as a passenger you must need you must needs have a purse and a purse is but a rag unless you have something in it besides passengers get seasick grow quarrelsome, don't sleep of nights, do not enjoy themselves much. As a general thing, no, I never go as a passenger, nor, though I am something of a salt, do I ever go to sea as a commodore or a captain or a cook. I abandon the glory and distinction of some offices to those who I like them. For my part, I abominate all honorable, respectable toils, trials, and tribulations of every kind whatsoever. Okay, and there we go. Sorry it took so long, and sorry if I took a few pauses and a little bit there and there, a little stops right there. Because the way this book was formatted and written seems a little... Well, let's just say this book was written a long time ago. And so, there you have it. I read one page from Moby Dick. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you all next time.